Hello everybody, I hope you're all having a fantastic day. For today's message, I'm going to be channeling the Divine Feminine messages of the Divine Feminine Collective and we can jump straight into the message straight away. I was reminded of your scent recently. Yeah, my Divine Masculine, I was. I can feel you. I can see you. I can smell you. I can sense you. All these little signs are reminders of our oneness, of our eternal bond, our eternal connection, our divine connection that we share. That's indestructible, that's eternal. That's every day growing deeper, more expensive, and more incredible. And this is how you make me feel. You make me feel like the Queen of Love, the Queen of Hearts. You open up my sensitivities and my intuition. I feel like I, I have access to infinite intelligence when my emotions when you my emotions open up, when you open up my when you light my senses up. Our emotional path holds opportunities for good fortune and remarkable times. Trusting your intuition and diving into the soul of your feelings paves the way to success. I'm feeling really good hearted right now, filled with lunar tides of emotion. And I can touch you deeply and nourish your sense of self. Unfathomed mysteries are hidden within me. I give of myself without selfish motives and I mirror feelings as the moon reflects the light of the sun. I like to touch and be touched. I'm feeling very tactile, inwardly and outwardly. I'm feeling intuitive and insightful, affectionate and kind. I can help you become more aware of the truth of your emotions and offer the comfort of nurturing energy. If you've wronged me or someone I care about, a heartfelt apology is far more likely to bring my forgiveness than trying to defend yourself. I can discern the emotion behind your look or gesture. So it's not easy to conceal your true feelings from me. And you're mirroring all this by deepening your ability right now to make wise choices, leading you to personal enrichment and fulfilment, even whilst being absorbed in an inner ocean of emotions within you. I am in love with you, my Divine Masculine. It is truly incredible to discover that I am your eternal bride. I honour you in pure, unconditional divine love. You are my one true love. I will meet you at the sacred altar to finally surrender my heart, soul and all that I am to you and to God. Yeah, it was. It is incredible. To know that I am your true wife, your eternal wife. And that what God has placed together, no man can turn us under. For better or for worse, forsaking all others. And my love for you is truly unconditional. And I'm constantly doing the inner work to purify and refine, purify and refine my love for you, raising that frequency. Okay. Well, I have loved you like that for all eternity because we are already spiritually married in truth. There really is no other. Rise to the occasion. The occasion of our 
sacred union, ah, oh, marriage in heaven, ah, oh, our eternal, the eternal consummation of our love. All those things are in us now. We already have all of these things. We're already carrying all of these things. It's just a question of coming into the realization that we've always had this. And that's when the outside shifts. Because I'm your divine feminine. I'm in my goddess energy. I'm in my power. I am witnessing the birth of a new cycle. Yes, I will be loved and I'll be loved by you. I'm in my Venus energy, Aphrodite incarnate. I'm feeling, I'm tapping into my inner guidance, my spirituality. An abundant outcome is coming. The birth of a union, plus new ideas and projects, thoughts coming out of the dark into the light. Be reassured, the risks you're taking will pay off. Finances will improve, you'll have plenty of harvest and abundance in the future and plenty of love. And we're going to be taking our relationship to the next level. Maybe a change of seasons, if we're not connecting, don't worry, we soon will. I have nothing but loving and nurturing intentions towards you. I want to take care of you and make you feel good about yourself. You're specially, I'm finding you specially desirable right now. I can see why everyone wants to be around you. But you're mine, I claim you there. Our union will deepen and become more loving and intense under the influence of this energy. Love's gonna come knocking on your door. Enjoy the moment, but remember to ground your emotions. Speak the language of love. So I understand you may not have all the same words for this as what I do and your, your understanding of it may be different because you're seeing things through your own lens and I'm seeing things through my lens and that's perfectly okay. But I really want to do the thing that makes you want to be with me. Expressing our love to each other is one thing. And that's perfectly okay too, but it's not the mechanics of our union. The mechanic to get you to come to me or for you to get me to come to you is simply love, love yourself and love myself. Cause and effect. I'm trying to do the honourable thing. I'm getting clear on my values. I'm getting clear on what I truly desire and getting clear on what I want and who I want, who I desire. And claiming that I'm letting go of everything that isn't what I truly desire. I'm letting go of misaligned people. Things and situations, habits, thought patterns. I've got my eye on the prize. I've got my eye on you. And so, as I do this, I may be taking a little bit of downtime, taking a little bit of time to rest and meditate, pray even. But I'm taking it all very seriously. I'm seeking answers to any problems that arise. And using contemplation to cut through difficulties. I'm choosing to no longer be dragged down by heavy moods, insecurities or self-pity. But, but I'm choosing to do what I need to to improve my well-being. 
i.e. work through my upsets instead of rolling around in them. I'm meditating, not hibernating. I'm preparing a strategy for my success. I'm discussing my interests with my closest friends. I may even need to trade in some seriousness for efforts to lighten up my life. Willingness to persevere through challenging communications paves the path for building better relations. Contemplation on romantic possibilities is getting fortified, fortified with optimism. My confidence is a prerequisite to finding or creating experience leading me towards the fulfilment of my desires with you. I'm liberating my mind from overanalyzing my situation and concerns about being loved or not. Everything comes of itself at the appointed time. I'm balancing intellect with trust in my emotional direction. My present path has been built out of choices I previously made. Anywhere, any area where I'm not happy, I'm examining and trying out different choices that can change my situation. And this requires deep contemplation. But I need to balance my energy by having some fun. Thinking obsessively about one's own emotional needs or the other person's can cause us to reach out on the richness of the moment. So please stay grounded. Stay in the here and now. And don't worry too much about what I'm doing. Because if you do the inner work and continue the inner work, there'd simply come a point where we're stood in front of each other, looking at each other, and there'll be no other place to go. That will be it. Okay, everybody, I'm going to end this message here. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you really enjoy the rest of your day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.